king david god said i want to anoint another person who i will choose to be the new king of israel god called this prophet samuel and said i want you to go to the house of jesse jesse calls all the best sons that he had father is introducing and throwing the resumes of his son to this this prophet and he goes one by one then the father says that i have no one left and father say yeah yeah i have one more he is somewhere in the wilderness he taking care of our sheep he is good for nothing at that time samuel says call him when david come and when he sees samuel samuel gets a confirmation that he is the one as the next leader samuel anoints him in front of his brothers and father let me tell you god knew what david is going through that's why when david is writing psalms 23 it is say even though i walk through the valley of death i will fear no evil amen he is saying there was time when i was walking through the valley of death at that time i didn't fear no evil amen hallelujah if you look at the achievements of david if you read david's resume he is the one who defeated goliath nobody was able to defeat that he is the one who fought with lions and bears he defeated them in the wilderness barehanded if nobody knows your situation it doesn't matter let me tell you if god knows your situation there is a solution because your help is on your way amen hallelujah your help is on your way God will show his power when he shows his power all the powers of this world will be powerless amen hallelujah when God shows his hand all the hands of this world will be powerless amen hallelujah and God comes he comes with a solution to your problem all we want to do is wait on the lord wait on the lord wait on the lord when david is writing psalms 27 at the end of psalms 27 he says wait on the lord